the equation y is equal to the square root of 2x minus 10 has a y-intercept of 0, negative 10. And you see that from this equation. The y-intercept is where do you intersect the y-axis, or what happens to y when x is equal to 0. When x is equal to 0, this part of the expression is equal to 0, and you're left with y is equal to negative 10. Rearrange the equation to express x in terms of y. So I've got put this on my scratch pad here so that I can work it out. So really, we just want to think about, we just want to solve for x here. We want to rearrange to express x in terms of y. So let me just rewrite it. y is equal to the square root of 2x minus 10. So we want to isolate the x on the right-hand side. So the first thing we might want to do is just add 10 to both sides. Let me add 10 to both sides. That gets rid of the 10 on the right-hand side. And we are left with y plus 10. Y, actually let me let me just keep let me just keep track of the colors so you can see what I'm up to. Y plus 10, y plus 10 is equal to the square root of 2x. Now, let's see if we, to isolate this x, let's, let's square both sides here. So let's square the left hand side, let's square the right hand side. We of course anything we do to one side we have to do to the other, otherwise the equality will no longer be true. And we are going to have y plus 10 y plus 10 squared is equal to the, the square root the, the square root of 2x squared is just going to be 2x is equal to 2x. And now we can divide both sides by 2. Divide both sides by 2. And we are left with x is equal to y plus 10 squared over 2. So let me write that out. Let me actually type that in into the program right over here. So x was equal to y plus 10 squared over 2, which is exactly what I wrote down on my scratch pad. And then they say, what is the equation's x-intercept? So let's just, let's just remind ourselves what's going on here. So this curve, or this equation, could describe a curve that looks something like this. So if that's my y-axis, this is my x-axis. And let's say the curve, it might look something like this. It might look something like might look something like that. So we already figured out its y-intercept. Its y-intercept is where does it intersect the y-axis? And we already figured out that's when x is equal to 0, y is equal to negative 10. Now we want to figure out its x-intercept. So that's essentially what x value do we get to when y is equal to 0. So what x value do we get to when y is equal to 0? And let me just. Let me clear these out just so this doesn't, we don't get distracted by this right over here. Well, when y is equal to 0, when y is equal to 0, x is going to be equal to 10 squared over 2. x is equal to 10 squared over 2. 0 plus 10 is 10 squared, 100 over 2, which is going to be equal to 50. So we're at the point x is 50 and y is 0. So that's this right over here. The x-intercept is 50. When x is 50, we clearly see that y is equal to 0. So let's also put that in there. So what is the equation's x-intercept? So when x is 50, y, y is 0. And we could check our answer, and we got it right.